Hey, what's up and welcome back to a new video. Sean's the name and YouTube is the game today. A website URL is like a phone number, a driver's license, and a mouth. You only get one of them. Well, at least for the most part. But today's a big day because we were talking about how you can get your very own YouTube URL, which is basically your own little humble abode on YouTube. So let's do it. The process of getting your own YouTube channel URL has actually changed tremendously over the years. Back in 2009, pretty much any channel that was created and was created under a specific username got their own specific channel URL. Now, it's actually funny to note that some channels that were created way back in the day still have that exact same URL and either don't know how to change it to get a new one or is just way too lazy to do so. For example, here's what's inside. Super cool channel, but their custom URL is literally just his name, Lincoln Markham, instead of youtube.com slash what's inside or what's inside official or something like that. And here's another prime example. This is Brian Casella, but he's had his channel since 2012 and has never changed his URL. So it's actually Brian Argentina, which is most likely his old username. Pretty embarrassing and a little bit unprofessional in my mind because if your job is to grow a brand, you really can only do that successfully if you build it around one brand name. Because the brand name is what people know of, not the eight different ways to say that brand name. For example, if the airlines JetBlue went by JetBlue and JetSky and ParkBlue and FlightBlue and SouthBlue, like no one would know what to call them. So everyone knows it's just JetBlue. That's the brand. And that's kind of what we're doing today. We're building your brand because a lot of people might know the name of your YouTube channel, but they might not actually know how to get there very easily besides searching on YouTube. Whereas if you've got your own custom URL, you could say, hey, you know, it's youtube.com slash Sean Malku, not youtube.com slash capital U, lowercase c, number seven, DJK, WX, 4X, 49, 620. That doesn't really work. But good news is that getting your own custom URL is actually very simple. At least at the time of me making this video, again, YouTube changes their mind and changes the process on how to do everything all the time. So because of that, I obviously can't change the recording of this video, but I could always change the description link down below. So I will always leave a link in the description of this video on how you actually go about changing your YouTube channel URL. So if the steps change, I will leave a link down below on what you gotta do. But all right, before we actually look into changing a YouTube channel URL today, it's important to note that there are guidelines. While small, there are still guidelines, even though they are very easy to achieve. A lot of people like to get their YouTube channel URL before they actually meet these guidelines. So the guidelines are 100 or more subscribers on your channel. Your channel has to be at least 30 days old. A channel icon must be uploaded and some channel art must be uploaded. Again, pretty basic and easy stuff. A lot of people get caught up on the 100 subscribers, especially new companies or brands. When they're starting up, they wanna build up their social media presence, so they'll go ahead and actually create a YouTube channel, maybe put their first video up, and then they want all their social media channels and links to basically say the same thing, slash insert brand name here. Problem is, you can't really do that on YouTube until you have 100 subscribers. So get out there, get your 100 subscribers, and also if you're a newer channel who doesn't have 100 subscribers, feel free to leave a comment down below. Everyone who's watching this video, maybe go check out the comments down below, check out some other channels, maybe subscribe to some things that you like. We can all grow together. And that's another thing. If you don't know anything about me and about how the basis of my branding is either growing your brand or your bank account, then you wouldn't know that a big portion of my strategy tips are always just getting out into the community as much as you can to grow your brand. Commenting on videos is a phenomenal way to grow your channel. Like look at this guy, he's got 75,000 subscribers by literally just commenting and engaging in the community. Not a single video, literally just commenting on other channels which is pretty incredible to me. But all right, let's say you've met all of those guidelines. Let's get you your custom YouTube channel URL. Head on over to youtube.com slash account underscore advanced or you can just get there by clicking on your channel icon in the top right and then clicking settings and then going down to the bottom and clicking advanced settings. 
Here you'll see the option for the custom URL if your channel is eligible. Again, you gotta be eligible. And as you can see, my custom URL is already set up on this channel. And keep in mind that your URL will work with or without that C. I don't know why YouTube likes to keep that C in there, but youtube.com slash Sean Malku works for me as well as youtube.com slash C slash Sean Malku. And that's basically it. I mean, once you actually pick your custom YouTube channel URL, you'll have to like agree to their terms and conditions for it. And it pretty much just says like, we don't want you changing your URL. Like again, like once you pick this one, you're set. If you do need to change your URL, there is a process to actually do so. You'll go back to the same spot and actually put in a request to change your YouTube URL. However, I will say that once you request to change your YouTube URL, you have to officially give up that URL you initially had. So you can't have two URLs. Again, you gotta give it up for someone else to basically take for you and then you can change the URL to whatever you'd like. That's still available, of course. But remember, you only get one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this short but sweet video. I tried to deliver as much content to you as quick as I could. And again, if you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button, comment down below, and if you're actually interested in learning how to create an auto subscribe link for your channel, then check the description. I've made a video on that as well great resource to actually help you grow your channel. But yeah, like I said, I'm always about not only helping you grow your brand, but also your bank account. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and watch some of my other content on here. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and like PayPal me a million dollars. This filter should not be legal.